Now, the first reason which we need to understand is that why in Surah Al-Baqarah here in this verse, in the start of the Madani period after the migration of Prophet ﷺ to Medina, why is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here mentioning the events of people of Bani Israel? The first reason which I gather is that in when we started reading Quran and when any, any student or reciter of Quran starts recitation of Quran, and we go through Surah Al-Fatiha. What did we all say? Surah Al-Lazina and Amta Alayhim, Wair al-Maghdubi Alayhim Balad Dwalim. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, we want to, we want you to save us from the path of whom? We want to stay steadfast on Surah Al-Mustaqim. And Surah Al-Mustaqim is what? It is the path of those whom you have blessed. And we do not want to be on the path of whom? On the path of Maghdub and Dualin. So we all made the supplication that save us from the path of Maghdub. So here Allah, and there I explained that Maghdub, we mean what? The Jews. So since we have asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have made the supplication, Ghairil Maghdubi alayhim, that is exactly the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here is showing us the behavior and the mannerism of the Maghdub Jews to help us refrain from such behaviors. They, we are being introduced to what they did. So we learn and we know what they did. So it becomes easy for us to save ourselves from their path. The second reason why the story of Bani Israel and Jews has been mentioned here is that uh, after the people had migrated to Medina, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions, they're going to, they were going to interact with whom? In Makkah, they were interacting with the Mushrikeen of Makkah. But here in Medina, they were going to encounter and interact with the people of the book, especially the Jews. So right at the start after migration, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is informing the Muslims about the behaviors and the mannerisms and the attitudes of these Jews, even in their past and the presence, so that the Muslims know what state of affairs and what behaviors they're going to come across. And the third reason why the story of the Jews is being narrated is because of the similarity of behavior of the Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the people of the book. As uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the Muslims will copy and they will follow the people of the book in all of their mannerisms. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that there were, there were or there will be 71 sects of the Jews and there will be 72 sects of the Christians and there will be 73 sects of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's Ummah. That is the Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will be copying and imitating everything which the people of the book will be doing. And then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that if they will enter the whole of an iguana, the Muslims will also try to enter it. And if they have illegal relationships with their mother, mothers, then Muslims will also follow them and copy them. And they will also attempt to have illegal relationships with their mothers. Astaghfirullah Rabbi. So that is why the behavior and the mannerism of the Jews is being narrated here so that the Muslims and the Ummah of the Prophet وسلم, after learning how they behaved and then because of that behavior and mannerism, how were they punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that Muslims stopped copying them and stopped following them and stopped adopting a similar behavior to save themselves from a similar punishment. And uh, the fourth reason why the story of the ancestors of the people of the book has been explained is that in after migrating to Medina, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was inviting the Jews and the people of the book 
to have faith and believe on him and his prophethood and to believe and have faith in Quran. But they were refusing to have faith and they were not they were not believing either in the prophethood of Muhammad sallallahu or in Quran. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala narrated them, highlighted and explained to the Jews the behavior of their forefathers who failed to accept the orders of Allah and Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, who refused, who refused to obey and who refused to have belief and faith in Allah and Hazrat Musa alayhi salam and his book, the Torah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will explain that how they were punished so that the current Jews of Medina, they learn, they learn the moral and they stop from this obstinate and stubborn refusal of belief on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Quran.